Welcome back everyone, we're back at it again. Today it's Bit Defender back into the spotlight, but it's going against one of, one of its other enemies. And that will be a vast one. Okay, so for Bit Defender on the left, we'll quickly have a look see at the settings. Okay, we'll just quickly have a look at the real time settings. Those settings are fine. Okay, Rotor Shield is enabled. All the other modules are only available for the paid version. So while we're here, we'll quickly disable it. Okay, and then we have Advanced Threat Defense. We're going to disable that as well. And then we're going to test um, Online Threat Prevention, uh, but we'll leave that on. No need to disable that. So that's the settings for Bitdefender, nice, quick and easy. Now for Avast. Okay, so we'll look at the file shield. Um, so it's fixed automatically, all the advanced settings here are enabled. Under advanced itself, so you guys can see, uh, exception is our script. Web shield. Okay, that's it. Ransomware protection, these are the files or folders that are protected. Advanced setting, we leave it on smart mode. Firewall, firewall mode is enabled. Um, I allocated this network as a trusted network. Okay, so these are all paid versions that ends the lock. Okay, so that's that for um, Avast. Um, okay, so updated, we did update it to the latest version. Um, so it is on the latest version as well. So we're gonna quickly just um, disable Avast um, real-time shields and we'll extract the malware and continue the test. Okay, all malware has been extracted and we roughly have 2,196 samples to test. Um, just checking quickly for updates. Uh, once it's done, we'll enable the Rotom Shield. Okay, so they all are up to date now. So um, we'll close that. Um, okay, I think it's time to enable the Rotom Shield for Bitdefender. Last one. Okay, so but defender is um, update um, protected. Uh, let's quickly look at a vest. Okay, a vest is up and ready. Okay, so for the first test, we're gonna start with the malicious websites. So let's, uh, oh, Avast is already starting to quarantine our malware. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly get the website test going. Okay, I'm just still waiting for Avast. Okay, so we've got a couple of pop-ups here. Let's look at put the fender. Okay, so let's start with put the fender first. So obviously put the fender gave us these notifications. Okay, let's see if we do proceed. Yeah, protected, that's good. Okay, so that's good to see. Okay, so I think with all of them it might be the same. I'm not gonna do all of them.
Okay, so let's quickly check if anything downloaded. Okay, doesn't seem like anything downloaded. Okay, so it seems like the Defender is protecting us nicely on this one. Okay, so let's have a look at a vest. Try this one. Okay, I'm just quickly going to go through them, guys. I'm not going to do them all. Okay, let's see if anything downloaded with a vest. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anything downloaded. doesn't seem like any of the websites are actually opening up. Um, okay, so I would say this is a tie for a vest and for Bitdefender. They did more or less the same. Nothing opened up. We couldn't see the pages itself. And luckily nothing maliciously downloaded. So obviously our little orange friend here is eager to quarantine this malware. So I think let's just jump right into it. Uh, I think it's, let me just quickly copy the script over guys, sorry. Okay, so I forget guys, I'm not sure I think um, Avast might have killed my script, but I quickly just copied it over and we're executing malware. Okay, so they're both at it. We are getting a lot of pop-ups with Avast. Um, I'm gonna tend to this, you guys know the routine by now, once it's done. Um, we will look at the results and if there's anything funny or interesting to show, um, I'll point it out. Okie dokie, and all the malware has been executed. Um, so for Bitdefender, everything is closed. So for the only things that are still running are these three here, and you can see that this one here is this one running in memory. Um, let's have a look see at our startup items. So it doesn't seem like we have anything funny that's starting up. Uh, for Avast, the test was a bit difficult. Um, the VM became really, really slow and a lot of the things you don't want to close so I'll, I'll close that upon the restart and obviously a couple of threads where it says it cannot be removed so let's have a look see at what's running okay so that one there is still open And that's about it. Okay, so we're gonna close that. Start up. Okay, it just seems like this Internet Explorer thingy is a startup item. Okay, so I'm gonna restart this machine, force close these apps because they, they don't wanna close. I've tried to stop them. Um, once they're back up and running again, we will start the full scans and then look at the results. Okay, so I'm back at my desk. Um, so for Bitdefender, I tried to delete this malware, but it unfortunately fails. So um, I'm just gonna take no action on that one. Um, so let's just quickly end that. For I'm a vast, it found all these problems. Um, it's just gonna say select all. Okay, let's just say secure. Once all this malware is secured, um, I'll reboot both of the machines and then start the third party opinion scans. Okay, so all the malware has been removed, so I'm going to quickly restart these machines um, so that we can get the third party opinion scans going so that we can finalize this test. 
Okay, so let's have a quick look see at the results. Okay, for Heatman Pro, let's look at Bitdefender. Um, oh, and I need to just point out that the full scan did not complete on the Bitdefender machine again. It got stuck. So it seems to be some sort of a problem with other VMs. Um, or maybe it's just my VM. For those of you who are using Bitdefender free, let me know if your, your full scans do get stuck. Okay, so um, we obviously have this local test and then temp, 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 and then that same RMS agent that we've seen before. And then quite a, a bit of sample still in on the desktop, obviously because the full scan did not complete. Okay, still malware extracted. And that seems to be uh, uh, not that many outside the normal locations, so we just have to keep that in mind. Um, okay, for Avast, uh, we have um, this desktop new folder is a folder that I created because Avast gave me a bit of problems with malware execution, so I had to create a new folder and split the malware execution. So that is still malware on the desktop, which is fine. Okay, doesn't seem like we have any malware outside our normal locations. Okay, for Norton. Okay, so we have the app data roaming. We have this according to Norton. And malware desktop and then app data local temp. Um, we have that for um, Avast. Yeah, so it's that fake mp3 player yeah we'll just close that uh, let's have a look see at the results for uh, msisoft okay oddly enough we only have one according to uh, msisoft that is on the desktop um, Okay, so let's quickly um, check for um, Avast. So obviously I have local temp and then obviously um, the WinZip files or the RAR files that are extracted here. So still malware on the desktop. Okay, and then we've got one under C Windows installer and that's about it. So only that and then obviously the temp files here okay and for malware bytes um, let's quickly have a look see at the results okay so according to malware bytes we have this under app data update the local um, we have a couple of updates here as well uh, sorry it's just a bit uh, slow this one okay um, update as well update the malware on the desktop okay and then just malware on the desktop so so I'm um, good results there by the defender um, for uh, Avast, um, we obviously have app data as well. Uh, temporary files that have not been cleaned. Okay, desktop still. Okay, and then obviously under Windows installer we have this MSI file. for this to close okay now for just to check what is quickly running on this machines 
so on the bit um, also just to point out oddly enough on the bit defender machine we do have high CPU usage um, as you can see we do have about high CPU usage and all four cores are completely uh, clocked out so just bear in mind or just bear with me if the VM is a bit slow um, okay doesn't seem like anything odd is running let's have a look here at the best okay let's quickly check Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything funny running. Okay, so let's quickly look at startup items. Okay, for um, Bitdefender, we obviously have Teams that additionally added, but that's not malicious. And the same for um, Avast. We do have this one strange uh, internet low mic utility tool. So I'll label that as a unwanted, um, but we'll quickly look at the files as well. Okay, let's quickly see if if there's any strange files. So obviously these files did download with our web test. Um, nothing for Bitdefender. Let's look at our documents. Okay, documents are fine. Let's look at our pictures. Okay, so our pictures are untouched. Okay, so I think this is the end for this test, guys. Um, pros and cons for for Bitdefender is still a con is it still seems that full scans are getting stuck. Um, I did uninstall and reinstall Bitdefender. Um, maybe it's just my VMs or my test environment, but um, that is unfortunate that the scans do never finish. Um, we do have some small fragments of malware, uh, pieces of malware, but it, it's not super serious. So um, the pros, I would say, but still real good um, protection by um, a bit defender. So can't can't fault bit defender on the real time protection. Uh, negatives for vast is um, a little bit more malware. Um, also considering that bit defender did not finish the scan and Avast did, there still seems to be a little bit more malware, um, pieces of malware. Uh, on the machine but pros is also still um, good real-time shield protection um, can't fault um, a vast for that either but um, the I have to say at the end of the day I think but defender did better um, web shield that protect us um, where a vast two uh, uh, three files that managed to download um, and there is a little bit of more malware um, on the machine still very close but I would say this one goes to Bitdefender so for you guys who are using Bitdefender if you have any problems I would like to know about it but if but your Bitdefender is working fine um, I would also like to know about it uh, but yeah I would say this is the end of this test guys um, close the results but the win goes to Bitdefender um, more tests coming soon and I'll check you in the next one